the word son of God, I think, uh, there again, we have to understand the uh, way in which it is being used here. This takes us into the uh, mystery of the Trinity. Don't forget we're trying to understand God. And when we try to understand God, we are uh, trying to understand something and, or someone who is in a totally different category than what we are. But I think the, uh, there is uh, unity, and there's only one God. We don't worship three gods, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And it's not three manifestations. He manifests himself as Father and manifests himself, or he acts like the Son, then he acts like the Holy Spirit. That was what Sibelius said, and the church rejected that too as well. But they felt that the scriptures, and we feel too as well, that there is a, uh, there are three centers of self-consciousness, and yet there is one a God. That's about the easiest and uh, yet overly simplistic way in which I can state it. So that uh, the Father has sent me, says Jesus. So there you have a sending Father and a Son who has a center of self-consciousness. And yet he says, I and my Father are one. That's the mystery of the Trinity. And yet that's the glory of God too. That he is one and yet he has been sent. 